Today we're going to look at two popular tents from Nemo, the Hornet and the Dragonfly. Both of these tents are beloved in the backpacking community because of their ultralight design and innovative features. These are both two-person, three-season tents, starting with the Hornet. The Hornet is a semi-freestanding tent. While the tent has a primary pole that keeps it upright, it still needs to be staked out in order to be fully upright. The main advantage of a semi-freestanding tent is that it's lighter and easier to carry. So it's great for backpacking. The Dragonfly, however, is completely freestanding, which means that it's self-supported by its own pole system. And the benefit of a freestanding tent is that they are sturdier, so they're better for wind and rain. In this video, we're gonna compare internal space, trail weight, fabric, vestibule area, poles, ventilation, and price. In terms of internal space, the Dragonfly has more internal space than the Hornet. These tents have a tapered design where one end is a little bit shorter than the other. The Hornet has seven feet in length, two and a half feet on one side and three and a half feet on the other side of the tent and it has 3.2 feet of height so you'd be able to have two sleeping bags in this tent but you're going to be pretty close together in comparison the dragonfly you get 7.3 feet of length 4.1 feet on one side and 3.75 feet on the other and you get 3.4 feet of height you get considerable amount more space in the dragonfly than you do the hornet now looking at trail weight the hornet is lighter than the dragonfly it's two pounds one ounce for the hornet and two pounds, 10 ounces for the Dragonfly. And they both come with like little stuff sacks that you can easily toss in your backpack. And they are comp comparable to the size of a water bottle. In terms of fabric, both tents have the same proprietary Osmo fabric. This is Nemo's um, custom fabric that they've designed. It's a composite of polyester and nylon. And this fabric was designed to be four times more water resistant and have three times less stretch when wet compared to traditional tent fabric. What's also great about this fabric is that it's more eco-friendly. It's made without flame retardants. It's also made without forever chemicals and PFCs. So it's just in general, more eco-friendly. The Hornet has a canopy of 15 Dernier nylon ribs and no CM mesh. Dernier is the thickness of the fabric. The Rainfly is made out of the Osmo ripstop. It's 1200 millimeter waterproof rating. And this is the amount of water that can collect on top of the tent fabric before it would start to seep inside the tent. The floor of the Hornet is made of the Osmo ripstop as well, and it has a 1500 millimeter uh, waterproof rating. In comparison, the Dragonfly has a canopy made of 10 Dernier nylon ripstop, so it's a little bit thinner than the Hornet. And the Rainfly is also made out of Osmo, and it's 1500 millimeter waterproof rating, so it's more water resistant than the Hornet. And the floor, also made out of Osmo, has a 2000 millimeter waterproof rating, so also more water resistant than the Hornet. What I love about these tents is that in spite of their light weight, they both come with two doors and two vestibules, uh, th which is great when you have two people staying inside the tent, it makes it easy to enter and exit the tent without bothering the other person. The Dragonfly has a larger vestibule, so basically more storage space. Both of these tents have this DAC Featherlight NSL aluminum pole, these are, this is a great pole. It's very sturdy while also being lightweight and stronger than just plain aluminum poles. They're also more environmentally friendly because DAC poles are made without nitric and phosphoric acid. So these poles are basically identical. It's just that the Dragonfly is a little bit thicker than the Hornet. Tents feature a hubbed pole design, which means that you have a pole that extends across the entire tent and the tent body is clipped to the pole and the pole creates this crossbody hubbed design. And this is done to maximize your internal volume. So to give the tent as much space and height as possible. So you can see this is the way the pole works. This hub design also distributes the fly tension evenly. In terms of ventilation, both these tents have no CM mesh bodies. However, the Dragonfly has a bit better ventilation and I'll explain why. The Hornet does not have vents in the Rainfly. If you have your Rainfly sealed, the air is going to have to just come in from beneath the rainfly. In comparison, the dragonfly has protected strut vents at the top of the rainfly. Even if your rainfly is sealed, you can still have some airflow coming in through the tent. Price. The Hornet is a little bit cheaper than the dragonfly. The Hornet is $429, while the dragonfly is $499. So how do these tents compare? The Hornet is a great tent when weight is your top priority. If you're looking to get the lightest possible weight in your tent, then the Hornet is the way to go. And you'll also save a bit of money. However, the Dragonfly is going to give you more space. You're gonna have a bigger vestibule, more storage, better ventilation, and better weather resistance overall. If you're going into a situation where you're gonna be dealing with rain or wind, or maybe you're gonna be spending a lot of time inside the tent, I think the Dragonfly is a better choice. Thanks for watching. There will be tent links in the video description. And please leave comments. I'd love to hear about your experience with either of these tents.